Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arno Fella and uh, I wasn't actually planning on doing it but I was tagged and so this is unfortunately a tag video but you know Criminoli made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the guy, he he's a, he's a bit like the books he reads, you know, you can't say no otherwise what would happen if I say no? You know, it's a, it's a dangerous guy, I think. Mm -hmm. But all the disturbing reads, he even has a top 10. Anyhow, um, I was asked to do the Think Twice book tag. It is a challenging tag, and I can assure you, it took me a while to put everything together. Um, so it was created by A.G. Dunn and Reads and Writes and Bookworm Adventure Girl. And um, please check the channels out. A.G. Dunn um, is uh, very much into uh, Stephen King and uh, historical fiction. And uh, yeah, he reads bigger books mostly. And the Bookworm Adventure Girl, she is really tackling now the, the Giller Prize, the Canadian uh, Prize, which to me uh, sounds way more fascinating than the Bookworm. But hey, there you go. The prompts are Double Vision, a book that features twins. I have. On offer, where is it? Ah, here it is. The Twins. Uh, this is written by Tessa Delo. This is the original Dutch version, but it also exists in English. It is the story of a twin that is separated while they were was four or five, a bit late, and uh, which is always a horrible thing to do, but even when they are that old, that's even more horrible. And uh, one is adopted by an, um, a, a simple peasant family in Germany, and the other is um, adopted by a rather well-off family in uh, the Netherlands, but it's a Dutch uh, Jewish family. And um, yeah, then the war happens and the poor girl, well, she lives in a Nazi friendly environment and you can imagine that the other girl who lives uh, with uh, the Dutch Jewish family has a whole other experience of the war and they meet each other after many, many, many years, maybe 70 years later, and they meet each other in a spa and they talk about their past and how they experienced everything. It's fascinating. It is beautiful. It's also uh, a Dutch movie and I really love that movie. I will never forget that movie. And then, <clears throat> Double Talk, a book with two or twice in the title. I had many ideas but none of them were translated into English. So what is the point then? And I thought of this one then, for the lack of anything better, A Tale of Two Cities um, by Charles Dickens. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I haven't read it yet. Uh, um, yeah, it's a classic. What else can I say? It's a cloth bound. And uh, I don't like the colors much though. And I don't know why they are knitting a shawl on the cover, but hey, there you go. And then, um, seeing double a book with a reflection, shadow or mirror, mirror image on the cover, because it's only the cover, I, this is not that bad, but this is... Um, the Mirror of Your Loneliness by Paul van Ostein. Paul van Ostein, of course, it's a mirror. Uh, Paul van Ostein is a Belgian author, a, well, a poet who mostly worked from the 30s up to the early 40s. And his poetry was very musical, very challenging, but also very popular. If somebody says, Paul van Ostein, everybody will say immediately, boom, Bankeslag. It's uh, a little part of uh, one of his poems. 
And uh, also very well known is his poem about uh, a singer's sewing machine. Very, very auditive, yeah. And then uh, take two, two books that, two book covers that look similar but are by different authors. I uh, came across uh, these two. Solar by Ian McEwen and then um, Honolulu King by Anujin Humans. Uh, this is a Belgian author and this is, oh, I think so. And this is, of course, Ian McEwen. And, but I found something worse. Something much worse. This is in the, uh, the Narrows by uh, Anne Petrie. And then I have, I had to look it up, Hue and Cry. There it is. Same picture. Yep. <clears throat> Moving on. I second that. A retelling. This is something exclusive. Um, Kutsi, you know, the South African author, also writes in Dutch. And he wrote the retelling and what happens after of uh, the Robinson Crusoe story. And it's called He and His Man. And um, so after they are rescued uh, from the island, he and Friday live together in a small apartment uh, in Bristol. Yeah. He and his man, the retelling of Robinson Crusoe. And then, two can play at that game. A character who plays two roles or has an alter ego. I was immediately thinking of, I don't have the book anymore, but it's, uh, I was thinking of Edgar Hilkenrath's The Nazi and the Barber. So this is about a guy who called who, uh, Max Schultz, and he was, during the war, he was a Nazi mass murderer, and then to hide himself, he um, becomes a Jewish barber. Yeah, it's an amazing story. I will never forget that book, never. And then, it takes two, a duology. I thought of The Road by Cormac McCarthy, because, yeah, uh, this is uh, the survival of a father and his son after an, uh, in an apocalyptic world. And, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then, um, on the double, a book told in two timelines. Well, why not? Why not? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here it is. The Anomaly by Hervé Tellier, because this is about a people, a group of people um, that take a flight from Paris to uh, uh, Charlotte de Gaulle to um, uh, New York, I believe, in New York. And when they land, they land on time, but then uh, the same plane with the same people land again on the same airport three months later. That's this story. So this is called The Anomaly by Hervé Letelier. It's now a, a finalist of the Booktube, uh, Booktube um, Award for uh, Translated Fiction. It's a really good story. Then, uh, The Perfect Pair. The last two books you gave five stars to. Well, uh, I talked about this many times already. Uh, the Eight Life by uh, Nino Haratishvili. The Eight Life and Claire Louise Bennett's uh, Checkout 19. I really loved both novels. And uh, I will uh, put, uh, put a review down below. 
And uh, two for the show, a book that has been adapted to film two or more times. And I thought of Rebecca by uh, Daphne du Maurier. It was once filmed by um, uh, Hitchcock and then later with um, Kristen Scott Thomas in the main role. But I was also thinking of Fingersmith by uh, Sarah Walters. I don't have it here. I, I must. Somebody must have taken it with him. Um, it's a Japanese movie and a BBC adaptation. And it's really fascinating to see both takes on the same story. It's really fascinating. I'm sorry, I was... Uh, there was somebody at the door. So, Two's Company, a book with two or more authors or a translated fiction book. Well, I thought of The Personal Librarian. Uh, the Personal Librarian is written by Mary Benedict and Victoria Christopher, Christopher Murray. And it tells the story of the, well, the remarkable story of J.P. Morgan's personal librarian, Bella da Costa Green, the black American woman who was forced to hide her true identity and pass as white to leave a lasting legacy that en enriched our nation. Well, voila, that's it. Haven't read it yet because I didn't see it was a large print and this is way too large to read for me. Can be too small, but it can also be too large. And then the last one, double take, recommend two books you think would pair well together and tell us why. Well, I've got two books about parenting and especially when things go wrong, when the kids do something nasty. So I thought of The Dinner by Herman Koch and we need to talk about Kevin by Lionel Shriver. So, or Shriver, um, the dinner about uh, Herman Koch is two brothers that uh, uh, need to have dinner because their both their sons did something nasty together. So they set um, a homeless man on fire, and it was caught on camera, uh, surveillance camera. But luckily, the tape was grainy, and only the people who were very close to the children or to the kids uh, would recognize um, the kids and their question is should we tell the police yes or no should we tell on our uh, on our own children and then the other book uh, we need to talk about Kevin is the kid has already done something horrible um, but they ask themselves why did he do that? Uh, the parents ask themselves, is it because of us that he do these things? So they investigate why, uh, what was the reasoning behind the, the I think he was a mass shooter. I haven't read it yet. I, I want to do it now for my doorstopper doom, but I thought it was a, a mass shooting in a school. So, yeah, it's one goes, talks about, uh, never talks even for about the reason why, but should we tell on the police or yes or no? And the other is, are we as parents guilty or uh, uh, responsible for our children's behavior? Yeah, I think that's a, a good double read. Yeah, I tag... Jim, I think, hasn't done this yet at books, reading and stuff. Um, and uh, Elizabeth of Bookends and Books, she always comes up with great ideas too. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you later. Bye-bye.